Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Uh, welcome to lecture 6 in our phonetics and phonology course. Um, in our previous lectures we discussed um, uh, consonant sounds and uh, uh, classification according to three criteria and uh, we discussed uh, plosives and in today's lecture we're going to talk about fricatives. Okay, let's start. Okay, fricatives. So what are fricative consonant sounds? Well, fricatives are consonant sounds that are produced by impeding but not completely blocking the airflow. There is a narrow gap between the active and the passive articulator along which the airflow can leave the oral cavity. يعني بيتم إنتاجهم من خلال إعاقة وليس إعاقة جزئية وليس إعاقة كلية لمجرى الهواء بيكون في narrow gap فراغ صغير between the active and the passive articulator ومن خلال هذا ال gap أو ال space بيخرج ال air flow أو ال air stream if you remember the plosives, Hakena in during the production of plosives and at a specific point, the airflow is completely blocked. While here it's a little bit different, um, the airflow is embedded but not completely blocked. Okay, so the airflow is squeezed in a small gap as it leaves the body. It passes through a very narrow a uh, gap or space through the oral cavity. And in English, there are nine fricative phonemes or fricative sounds, um, starting with fa, va, tha, za, sa, za, sha, ja, and ha. And these sounds are made in five positions of the mouth. Let's have a look. First, let's um, list the five positions. Labiodental, interdental, alveolar, palatoalveolar, and glottal. Let's see the labiodental sounds. Well, labiodental, um, uh, labiodental sounds are made uh, through the articulation of the top teeth with the lower lip, like the sound fa as in fast, va as in van. Now, the dental sounds uh, are made by uh, the, an articulation between the tongue and the teeth. And uh, these dental sounds are tha as in thick, the as in these. Okay, now the alveolar sounds or the alveolar fricatives are made uh, by an articulation between the tongue and the alveolar ridge. Okay, and these sounds include sa as in so, za as in zen. And the postalveolar fricatives include or palatoalveolar, so postalveolar or palatoalveolar. Um, um, so these sounds are articulated or produced uh, through an articulation um, between the tongue. Uh, uh, which is placed uh, behind the alveolar ridge. So the tongue with the alveolar ridge, like sha in she, ja in casual. And the last uh, fricative sound is ha, which is glottal. It happens um, in the throat, and it's ha as in the word hard. Okay, um, let's now practice these uh, sounds and words. Um, and say them after me, please. So, fa as in first, fa first, va van, va van, tha thick, tha thick, the these, these, sa so, za zen, sha she, ja casual and ha hard, okay? Now, these fricative sounds are divided into two groups according to their voicing uh, features. 
okay so the fa the za and ja are voiced and we said that voiced sounds are produced with um, um, a vibration in the vocal cords now the rest of the sounds which are fa tha sa sha ha are voiceless they are produced only with a uh, so no um, vibration in the vocal cords okay and we um, tried to pronounce um, each of these sounds to um, to notice the vibration in the vocal cords for if you would like to to practice them again and say this group of sounds you'll notice um, a vibration in the vocal cords while if you try to pronounce these ones there will be no um, vibration in the vocal cords so let's start with labiodental fricatives so labiodental fricatives are articulated with the near contact of the bottom or lower lip and the upper front teeth so articulation between the lower lip and the upper front teeth and we said these labiodental fricatives are fa and v. Say them please. Fa, fan, fish, half. V, van, vote, rave. Okay? Uh, so during the production of, um, of these two sounds, as I said, um, the, the, the lower lip and the upper front teeth articulate and or uh, yani, they are close to each other and they this um, articulation causes an incomplete obstruction okay and uh, when the air goes through this uh, space or gap it causes flight fric uh, sorry slight friction and uh, this is how um, this is why we call them fricatives because they cause friction احتكاك. okay and if we have a look at these uh, two illustrations of the two um, sounds, um, later during the lecture, we're going to, to look at these illustrations again. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the lower lip with the upper teeth, um, and uh, here an articulation at this point, uh, produces fa with an incomplete air uh, obstruction. Tamam. And the next one is also the same, the same articulation, but the difference is in the voicing. As you can see here, the labiodental fricative fa is voiceless and va is voiced. So the friction is created as the air is forced between the lower lip and the upper front teeth. So the air is forced, يعني بيخرج الهواء بقوة. من الفراغ اللي between the lower lip and the upper front teeth and during the production of these sounds the tongue ra lies relatively low in the mouth and is not involved in this process okay now interdental fricatives so these fricatives are made by the tongue tip nearly contacting the edge of the upper teeth or slightly projected between them. The, uh, the tongue tip or the tip of the tongue contacts the edge of the upper teeth or is slightly projected between them. Try saying, for example, the sound th as in thin, th as in ven. So the tongue is relatively flat and a narrow slit is formed in the mouth. When the tongue is flat, مسطح, a narrow slit is formed in the mouth. فراغ أو جاب صغير بيتكون في الفم ومن خلال هذا الجاب الهواء بيطلع بصعوبة. So the friction is created as the air passes over the tongue and past the upper front teeth. بصير الاحتكاك من الهواء اللي بيطلع من عن over the tongue and past the upper front teeth. The interdental fricatives again are th as in thin and thought, th as in that and the. And let's have a look at these two illustrations. We said that uh, the articulation of both of these sounds are the same, is the same, sorry. So, tha 
uh, is um, uh, produced by the articulation again of the tongue with the upper front teeth and here um, a small or a narrow gap is formed and through this gap the air uh, flows out of the oral cavity and the same happens here okay And again, the difference here is in the voicing. So through the production or during the production of ta, the vocal cords uh, don't vibrate. So it's a voiceless sound. And here the vocal cords vibrate. So that is a voiced sound. Now the alveolar fricatives are formed by the tip of the tongue nearly contacting the alveolar ridge. The tip of the tongue articulates with the alveolar ridge and we said the alveolar ridge is the part just at the back of your front teeth. And these alveolar fricatives are sa as in sun, sai, house, za as in zoo, zebra, rays. Tamam, try saying uh, these uh, sounds please. Sa, sun, sai, house, za, zoo, zebra, raise okay now the sound sa is voiceless and za is voiced we said that it's the same articulation uh, but the difference is in the voicing so the articulation happens uh, um, through or by the contact between the tip of the tongue and the alveolar ridge the same happens here and the difference is in the voicing uh, during the production of za Okay, and the, uh, during the production or articulation of these sounds, the air passes over the tongue and friction is created as it is forced between the tip of the tongue and the alveolar ridge. حكينا إن الهواء بيعبر من من عن اللسان على اللسان وبينتج احتكاك لما بيجبر نفسه أو بيخرج بصعوبة من بين اللسان و طرف اللسان سوري من بين طرف اللسان والالفيولار ريج now the palate alveolar fricatives and during the production of uh, these consonants the tongue is close to the back part of the alveolar ridge forming a flat narrowing and also the front part of the tongue is raised towards the hard palate so it's like two articulation points the the tongue is close to the back part of the alveolar ridge اللسان بي بيصير قريب من الجزء الخلفي للالفيولار ridge وبيعمل narrow gap and also the front part of the tongue is raised toward the hard palate ومقدمة أو the front part of the tongue بيروح نحو الهارد palate and these palate alveolar fricatives are Sh as in shub and ja as in measure. Sh, shub, ja, measure. Okay, let's have a look at this illustration. So this is the articulation of sha. As we said, uh, the tongue is close to the back part of the alveolar ridge and the front uh, part of the tongue is raised towards the hard palate and this creates a narrow gap um, through which the air, the air flows or uh, leaves. Okay, and we said the articulation of both of these is the same, except um, that when we pronounce ja or produce ja, uh, the vocal cords vibrate, which means ja is a voiced fricative. Okay, now our last fricative is the glottal fricative ha, and this is the only fricative that doesn't pair with another sound. Okay, as we've just discussed, uh, fricatives, um, yani we discussed them in pairs. We said fa and va, sa and za, tha and za, and um, so on. Okay, so it doesn't pair with another sound. Again, the ha sound or the glottal ha as in house, hen, and who. Try pronouncing these words, okay? And this uh, sound is produced with the voiceless expulsion of air from the lungs. 
um, Hakena voiceless means the vocal folds don't vibrate. Um, and so, الصوت لها هو انطلاق أو خروج للهواء من الرئتين and during this process the mouth and the tongue are already in position for the following position for, sorry, for the following vowel okay, so المouth أو اللسان بيكونه في وضع الاستعداد لنطق الحرف الصوت العلة الساكن sorry, صوت العلة الساكن تمام uh, let's have a look um, at the illustration here. As you can see, the air comes up um, or uh, the air from the lungs uh, goes upwards and it leaves the body through the oral cavity. And as you can see, the tongue is in position and the mouth are in position for the second or the next, sorry, vowel. Um, one last point is that the sound ha never appears at the ends of syllables in English. It never appears at the end of syllables in English. Tamam, let's continue. Now, let's start uh, describing each of these sounds one by one. And let's start with fa, okay? Fa, to start with, with it's a voiceless labiodental fricative, as we've just mentioned. So the articulation of fa, what happens dur during the articulation of fa? Well, the lower lip is brought very close to the upper front teeth. The lower lip with the upper front teeth, okay? And the gap between them is extremely narrow. As you can see, it's very uh, narrow gap or space, okay? Also, during this production, the soft palate is raised. And as we, as you know, when the soft palate is raised, the nasal passage is blocked completely, or the nasal cavity, tamam? Uh, so, as the nasal uh, passage is blocked, the air escapes through the narrow gap between the lower lip and the upper front teeth with audible friction. بيخرج الهواء بصعوبة من ها من هذا الفراغ الصغير. وهذا الخروج للهواء يسبب إيش؟ احتكاك مسموع تمام؟ audible friction and as you know the vocal folds are held wide apart during the production of fa the vocal folds don't vibrate okay let's uh, move on to the spellings of fa so the letter fa um, sorry the sound fa is represented by the letter fa as in five and fool. Also, the letters double F or FF as in coffee and affair. So both of these are pronounced as fa. Okay, as if they are one uh, letter F. كأنهم حرف واحد F. Wa uh, fa is also rep represented by PH as in physics and GH as in cough. So this sound is pronounced fa, and this sound as well is fa. Okay, so now the distribution of this uh, consonant, where it happens in what? So fa um, occurs initially as in five at the beginning of a word, medially um, in the middle of a word as in offer, and finally as in roof. Okay, now, uh, V, the sound V, which is um, a voiced labiodental fricative, okay? So, the articulation of this sound is exactly the same as um, the sound F, except for this, um, uh, the fact that during the articulation of V, the vocal folds are closed, which means uh, they vibrate, and uh, this is why V is a voiced sound. Now let's have a look at the spellings of, um, of V. So V is represented in English by the letter, uh, sorry, v, yes, V is represented by the letter V as in over, the letter F as in of, so this is pronounced of, not of. And also V is represented by the letter 
PH as in nev nevio. And by the way, this is another pronunciation or British pronunciation for the word nevio, but it's not very popular. Uh, so the most common pronunciation of this word is nephew. But yeah, it's good to mention that it can be pronounced as nevio, and this is an old pronunciation. Okay, now the distribution of the, where it happens in a word, so it happens in, or it occurs initially as in vine, medially as in cover, and finally as in love. Okay, and notice here, um, even though we have uh, the letter E at the end of the word, but the last sound um, in this word is V. So, yes, the, the last sound is V. Let's continue. Now, the voiceless dental fricative TH. So, the art, do you, what happens during the articulation of TH? Well, the tip of the tongue makes a light contact with the edge of the upper front teeth. The tip of the tongue contacts the upper front teeth. Okay? And during this uh, process, the soft palate is raised, so the nasal uh, passage is blocked off completely, and uh, this is how the air escapes through the narrow space between the tip of the tongue and the front teeth with audible friction. يخرج الهواء من narrow, this very narrow space between uh, the tongue and the front teeth. وهذا الخروج الهواء بيعمل audible friction, احتكاك صوته مسموع. And during the production or articulation of this sound, the vocal folds don't vibrate, and this is why it is a voiceless fricative. Okay, now the spellings of th. So th in English is represented by the letters th as in thin and thick. Okay, and as for the, the distribution of th, well, th occurs initially as in thick, medially as in method, and finally as in path. Okay? Now, the voice dental fricative, th, and the articulation of this sound is exactly the same as that of th, except for the fact that during uh, the articulation of um, of the, the vocal folds vibrate, which and this is why uh, this sound is voiced. Okay, now the spellings of the, uh, well, uh, this sound is represented in English uh, by the letters th as in then and that. Okay, and as for the distribution of the, well, it occurs initially as in then, medially as in leather, and finally, as in soothe. Okay. Now, let's see the alveolar fricatives, which are sa and za. And starting with sa, so what happens during the articulation of this sound? Well, the tip and blade of the tongue are placed very near the teeth ridge or the alveolar ridge, making a very narrow uh, space between them. This is the tip and blade of the tongue articulated or very, um, are placed very near the alveolar ridge. And this uh, means, um, um, or this process forms an, a very narrow gap between them. And during this uh, process, the soft palate is raised. So the nasal passage is blocked or closed completely. And this is why the air escapes through the narrow gap between the tip and blade of the tongue and the alveolar ridge. So the air escapes through this gap, making an audible friction. Tamam. And during this production also, the vocal folds don't vibrate, and this is why sa is a voiceless alveolar fricative. Now, uh, looking at the spellings of sa, well, the sound sa in English is represented by the letter S as in sin, double S as in message, and C followed by an E or I as in scene. Also, it happens um, uh, like in medial words which have um, X medially or in the middle of them. Uh, uh, the X is pronounced 
tax cakes like this as in taxi and ox taxi and ox this is medially and finally okay hana x at them uh, in the middle of the sentence it's pronounced x and hina ox at the end of the word sorry at the end of the word and it's pronounced x okay طيب, uh, the distribution of this sound, well, this sound occurs initially as in seem, medially as in passive, and finally as in less. Now, the alveolar fricative z, um, so the articulation of this sound is exactly as um, the articulation of z, except for that uh, during the articulation of z, the vocal folds vibrate, making this sound a voiced sound. Okay, now let's have a look at the spellings of za. So the sound za in English is represented by the letter z as in zoo, the letters s uh, medially and finally as in poison and dogs, and the letters double s as in scissors, and the letters double z as in buzz, and also with the letter X um, uh, in the middle of a word as in exact, exact, okay? Now the distribution of za, uh, za occurs initially as in zoo, medially as in puzzle, and finally as in lose. And again, if you remember the word love, um, here at the end of a, the word, uh, the final letter, is e whilst the final sound is s. Now, just a quick note before we continue with our fricatives. Um, in this uh, part, we're we're going to talk about inflectional suffixes. So, what are inflectional suffixes? إحنا بنذكرها هنا لأنه إلها علاقة في عملية نطق بعض المقاطع في اللغة الإنجليزية. طيب إيش هو الانفليكشنال سافكس بالأول؟ So inflectional suffixes used for making plurals مثلا الاس تبعت الجمع بسميها inflectional suffix سواء الاس أو الاي اس طبعا Possessives of nouns اس الملكية برضو بسميها inflectional suffix And the third person present simple singular forms أيضا أس المفرد اللي بنحطها على الأفعال في الزمن المضارع البسيط. So ال ال S في هدول ال ال ثلاث أنواع من ال inflectional suffixes بيكون إلها different pronunciations. Okay. And this S is pronounced either as S normal S or Z or Z. Okay, do you remember the word dogs from our previous um, part? اللي هو لما تكلمنا عن ذا. Dogs الاس اللي فيها اس الجمع لفظناها ك ذا. الان in English في قاعدة يعني there is a rule um, on how to pronounce uh, these endings or these inflectional suffixes. Let's have a look. أول حاجة أنا بلفظ ال ال ending هذه as a sa. In words that end with a voiceless consonant, لما تكون الكلمة الأساسية تنتهي ب voiceless consonant, except for these, الس والش والتش. يعني بحكي cats, cups, puffs and cooks. هنا اس الجمع هنا اس جمع وفي cooks هنا كانت اس المضارع. تمام. طيب اثنين ممكن ألفظ ال الحرف الاس الاخير ك ز if the word ends in a voiced consonant except اذا كانت الكلمه الاساسيه عندي تنتهي ب voiced consonant ما عدا هدول الثلاث اصوات ز ج اند ج اوكي examples boys eggs comes and laws تمام هنا boys و eggs اس الجمع وفي comes اس المفرد في ال present simple اللي هي اس الفعل المضارع المفرد طيب الحالة الثالثة انه الساء is pronounced is او ال es طبعا uh, if the root ends in sa, za, sha, ja, 
تشا جا إذا كانت الكلمة الأساسية اللي عندي اللي أنا بضيف لها اس الجمع أو اي اس الجمع أو اس الملكية أو اس المضارع إذا كانت تنتهي بأحد هذه الأصوات فأنا بلفظها إز زي مين؟ losses و judges أوكي؟ losses and judges this word ends in sa and this word ends in ja the I mean the root word أنا اللي بقصدها الكلمة الأساسية فبما إنها انتهت ب جا إذا ال e s تبعت الجمع أو المفرد أو الملكية تبعتها تلفظ is تمام؟ Okay, let's continue with our fricatives and now we have the uh, palate alveolar, alveolar fricative sha. So what happens during the articulation or production of sha? Well, the tip and blade of the tongue are placed very near the teeth ridge or the alveolar ridge. The tip and blade of the, of the tongue are very near the alveolar ridge. Also, at the same time or simultaneously, the front of the tongue is raised in the direction of the hard palate. This part is raised in the direction of the hard palate. Okay? Also, during this process, the soft palate is raised and the nasal passage is closed. Okay? So, how uh, does the air uh, flow move? Well, the air escapes through the narrow passage between the tip, blade, and front of the tongue, and the teeth ridge, and the hard palate with audible friction. بيطلع الهواء اللي بيكون تكون بين التب, blade, and front of the tongue, و الالفيولر ridge, والhard palate. Okay? يخرج with audible friction. تمام؟ And during this process, the vocal folds don't vibrate, and this is why sha is a voiceless sound. Now, let's have a look at the spellings of sha. Well, the sound sha is represented in English with the letter sh, the letters sh as in shine, ch as in machine, su as in sugar, ti as in nation, c as in sufficient, S, S, or double S as in pressure, and C, I as in conscience. Tamam. Taib. Uh, as for the distribution of sha, it occurs initially as in shell, medially as in pressure, and finally as in fish. Now, the palate alveolar fricative ja. So, during the articulation of this um, Sound, uh, or sorry, the articulation of this sound is exactly the same as that of sha, except for this point. The vocal folds vibrate during this process, and this is why ja is a voiced palate alveolar fricative. Now, as for the spellings of this um, sound, um, so this sound is represented by the letter si, as in decision, uh, SU as in pleasure, GE in French loan words as in rouge and garage. Okay, French loan words هي الكلمات الإنجليزية اللي بتكون مأخوذة من اللغة الفرنسية أو أصلها فرنسي زي rouge و garage و beige later. طيب distribution where does this sound happen in a word. So this sound happens only medially in English words as in leisure. Uh, فقط في النص بالإنجليش words زي كلمة leisure. And also it predominantly uh, it happens الجا happens predominantly between vowels, intervocalic. تيجي دائما أو كتير موجودة باللغة between بين uh, صوتين علة زي measure Tamam and treasure, measure and treasure. Taib. Oh, this uh, sound occurs finally in French loan words like beige. Okay. So, أهم حاجة بتميز الجا إنها it happens only medially and predominantly between vo vowels, intervocalic. عادة تصير medially و وبتكون بين two vowels. وفي الفرنش لانجويج it happens أو it occurs 
finally. Okay, now our last fricative is the voiceless glottal fricative ha. Voiceless glottal fricative. Tamam? So, what happens during the articulation of ha? Well, the vocal folds are kept close together so that the glottis is very narrow. So these are the vocal the vocal cords, they are kept close together and this means the glottis is very narrow, okay? And during this process, the air escapes through the narrow glottis with audible friction. Bitla min narrow glottis through an audible friction. So uh, what about the spellings of ha? So uh, ha is represented by the letter H as in hat. And ha um, also has an allophonic variant, which is that ha is sometimes voiced, which means it becomes, it may sometimes become voiced when it occurs between two vowels, as in the word behind, behind. Try to um, put your fingertips against your um, uh, larynx and uh, notice during the production or the articulation of this word, notice how the vocal folds uh, vib vibrate. Okay, now as for the distribution of ha, uh, ha happens initially as in hat and medially as in behave. And it's also important to know that this sound never appears at the ends of syllables in English. Okay, it never appears at the end of syllables. Okay, these are the references. If you would like to have a look. And yeah, we've reached the end of our lecture. Um, I hope everything is clear. And if you do have any questions, um, we'll discuss them in our Zoom lecture or in our next lecture at university, inshallah. Have a nice day and thank you all.